We are Gladys Moran, Edwina Haig and Steve Dumbell from Ravenscroft Rebuild Co-op. We have produced this short film to try to clarify our reasons for requesting funding for our venture. We are working with Merseyside Improved Housing, who are a local housing association and have been very helpful to us while we've been getting the co-op started. We have appointed our architects, McHugh and Stoppard, who are drawing up plans with our cooperation. Besides building houses, we are hoping to build a good community spirit that perhaps will set an example to the surrounding area. This is St Andrew's Church, which at present is very isolated. The vicar, Jim Garnet, has been very helpful to our co-op fundraising. Our chairman, Steve Dumbell, will now explain the type of funding we require. This is the site which uh, the Ravenscroft Rebuild Cooperative hoped to build 25 houses on. Um, it was once used for housing before, which they got demolished when they were demolishing the uh, high rise flats. The, uh, the nature of the buttons on these houses was such that with the vibration, the houses started to move. So they had to de uh, demolish these houses. And now we hope to put 25 houses back where there once was houses. Using a new type of funding, which is called challenge funding, which is a, a mixture of uh, building society finance and also uh, a grant from the government, which is about 30%. Uh, this, this scheme should be on site by next year if we're successful. We just need the uh, backing of the government the Department of Environment. We've also achieved uh, the backing of Mosley Borough Council uh, Housing Investment Subcommittee to approve this scheme and put it forward to the Department of Environment. taking out of some of our members of our co-op for them to give you their opinion of why they joined the co-op. Chris? Right. I live in Nutty 2 and I've lived in the Tower Hill 18 years. And when I first moved up here it was a beautiful place and the last 10 years it's steadily gone downhill with all the dumping and the dogs ripping the bags open and it ends up on all our gardens as you can see here saying it's just a, a frightening place to be in of a night time because there's no lights, there's nothing. You don't see a policeman. Well, I live here on the end in number one, and my side wall gets used as a, a bumping ground for stolen cars. As we say, all the rubbish is dumped there, it ends up over my back fence, in my front garden, everywhere, traipsed into the house and everything, and it's terrifying here of a night on the end. And I'm a single parent on my own, and so, so I'm so, so some nights at 12 o'clock at night you want to be here filming it, because you have all sorts hanging up and down here against my wall and I can't sleep in peace for the night, and that's why I've joined the co-op to get out of it. I just come to see you see about your views on co-op, why you join it. Well, she was saying environmental difficulties, the rubbish outside, the area we're living in, the problem of anyone having weddings or anything where you've got to walk through, over, right through all the muck and that to leave cars, problems of ambulances you've paraded through the street, and just the general environment all about us. I think it's play areas as well, isn't it, for kids? The, the alleyways are too narrow. The kids to play out. I mean, my little lad got run over the other day. He only walked along to his mate's round the corner. 
and a bike came round, so I was knocked down. It wasn't that bad the whole way, which was lucky. But uh, it's just too nice. The houses are too close together. It's just like living in big dogs. We've got whatever they're doing in their garden over there is happening on our doorstep, which is a big problem. We've got the pigeon lots, we've got the muck from the pigeons. Okay. Thanks, Granny. Hello, Shaby. Just coming out for a piece to say a few words on the show to give your opinion and your statement of why you joined the co-op. Well, the simple reason I joined the co-op is because I don't like living where I am, especially in Ravenscroft and on Tower Hill as well. Um, the, the, it was bad planning when the houses were first built because there's no community spirit whatsoever. I mean, you'd only have to look at my neighbour over the road. The only time I see that woman is in the summer when she comes out into her back. Therefore, there's easy access for all the robbing that's going on because nobody ever sees anything. And then again, if you park your cars down by the bottom, they're always getting stolen and wrecked. And um, then again, there's a two minutes walk away, there's a major road going through a residential area. And at least there's uh, maybe about six people here get killed on that road. So I've joined the co-op because I know that the people, the members in the co-op, I'll be able to trust them and they'll be good neighbours. If I ever need any help, I know that they'll be there to help me. Thanks, Shaley. All this around here, the vandals just come around and they do what they like. There's no lights. That light, that light and that light have not been on for three months. And all this happens in the dark, so you've got no you got no control over it. I mean if anybody does anything by the time you get out, you can't see them anyway. You never see I haven't seen a policeman up here since I've been living up here for eighteen years. Except when they're flying around in the cars. So in a cooperative, I mean if people are there because they want to be there, you're going to get a bit more respect for the community and you'll be able to live a proper life, won't you? Yes. Without, uh, I mean, look at this here. You get out and do that, and as fast as you do it, it's all the muck and everything's blown back in. See, nobody seems to care. I don't know. I mean, the council cleared all that up last year. They leveled that off and everything. Look at the state of it now. People, you know, the people up here, they seem to have lost heart because nothing gets done so it's up you know I mean you've just got to get out rather than try and improve it because I've spent 18 years trying to improve it I'm just about up to here I want to have a you know finish my days a bit of peace and quiet that's basically why I want to go into a co-op and hope that the people who are moving in have got the same attitude as me they're worried about the environment okay This is an example of our general meetings. We have a two hour meeting every week and all members are encouraged to become involved and express any views or ideas they may think relevant. We have found that as we go on, people are becoming more inclined to speak out, but no pressure is put on anyone too shy to do so. Committee members are always prepared to explain anything and to listen to ideas, as even trivial ideas can be expanded or adjusted to suit our needs. This particular meeting was an educational session arranged by MIH on allocation policies. MIH, through their regional manager, Tom Clay, have been very helpful in these educational sessions. We have had Robin Stain to help us set up a rules group. And at this meeting, we had George Evans explaining the allocation policy. Assistant manager, Joe Corbett, was our guide on a recent tour of some of the Merseyside co-ops. Also on alternate weeks, we have meetings with the architects on planning and designs. At the meetings, we make arrangements for fundraising events. In the past, we have held 
a Christmas dance with hot pot supper, disco raffles. Also, we've had a bazaar and a jumble sale. We are now organising an Easter dance, a day trip for the children during the school holidays and a children's Christmas party. Every week, the women have a coffee meeting, which have proved very popular. It is also a good way of getting to know each other. We exchange recipes, decorating ideas, etc. This is George Howarth, our local MP. He came to visit us. Gladys Moran and Steve Dumbell showed him round the area. At one stage we found a, a kid about 16 years of age hanging out of the doorway to the sea with a high pass. He was a blue slipper, you know, and it, uh, it took us an hour for an ambulance to arrive. So ring it an hour. Like, so you can imagine the confusion of the letter way it's left in the back. So we have to come with a lot of blankets. This is actually on the final. We asked him for his support for our co-op. We have received full support from him and he has kept in contact with us since this visit. <laughs> As you can see, the shopping area is in a very run-down state, causing a lot of problems for the adjacent tenants. It's hard to believe, but one of the flats above these shops is still occupied. There used to be a set of stairs here, which became so unsafe that the council had to remove them. The shops do not belong to the council, but to a property developer, whose intentions regarding this property are not clear to us. Ravenscroft houses are in very close proximity. There are more houses per square yard than in any other area of Tower Hill, which means very little privacy. The majority of these houses have no vehicle access or parking facilities, especially D and E blocks. We would like to give credit to the people who have given us help to form our co-op and in the making of this film, namely the Kirby Video Group, George Howarth MP, architects Steve McHugh and Dave Stoppard, Merseyside Improved Housing, namely Re Nosley Regional Manager Tom Clay, co-op manager George Evans, Education Officer Robin Staines, Co-op Assistant Manager Joe Corbett, Tower Hill Ward Councillor Alan Kelly, Kirby Unemployed Resource Centre, Caretaker of the Tower Hill Community Centre Steve Jones, Howard Jackson the Community Recreation Officer, Nosley Community Transport, Reverend James Garnus of St Andrew's Church, Mr Fagan of Nosley Borough Council, Andy Edwards of the Economic Development Team, Dave Cumberland, Assistant Director of Housing, Peter Gallagher, the Housing Manager, Area C Housing Committee, and the Housing Investment Subcommittee. Also, to all the Merseyside Co-ops for all their help in helping us to set up this co-op.